Alan and I met under uh, really pleasant circumstances. It was up at the West Point Inn, way up on Mount Tam, and he was there with his African Chora, and he played me a couple of tunes, and I was real taken with it. And uh, you know, we spent a lot of time hiking Mount Tam and Point Reyes and in the Muir Beach area and talking about music and, and I uh, proposed the idea of him building me another 11 string arch guitar which he enthusiastically uh, went to work on right away and that came out to be a, a real masterpiece. So at first I built the 11 string and he was really happy with it. It was, it was a wonderful moment because he came to the house and he played it for an hour and it was just a wonderful sound. He was thrilled, I was thrilled. And he kept the guitar for about a year and called me from France with this idea for an attachment for the guitar. And he left a long message and, well, I can't say that I understood him. I got this crazy idea to have this attachment made to go on the bottom of the instrument with some open harp strings. It was kind of a combination of wanting the different color, uh, having a little more palette to work from, and also the visuals. Plus, um, anything new is always fun. We got together and I got more of an understanding and showed up at his house with a pile of cardboard guitars with strings drawn on them, just for idea's sake. He liked one of the designs and I went to my shop and started building it and questions, developments, things arose along the way. But it was completed and when it was completed I just, I wondered, it didn't look very practical or feasible. The main thing that impressed me right away was not only his workmanship but kind of the enthusiasm to attack a new a new and unknown world, which isn't something that just any luthier will do. Particularly as far as the attachment, uh, there's just no guidelines at all. This is just an idea that just came out of the blue, and there's absolutely no blueprint or, or uh, predecessor for it. This attachment, as far as we know, is the only one in the world. A bold statement, I'm sure, because it's usually not only one of anything in the world, but we believe it's the first. What it means to me is just a, a whole array of possibilities that I've never had before. Uh, a new direction, uh, compositionally. Uh, it means basically a whole lot of open doors for me. And he immediately took to it. From the first time he played it, he was creating wonderful music with it and he's been composing just some of the most interesting, wonderful stuff of her. When I first tried to play the guitar with the attachment, because I didn't know how to play it, the first thing that really shocked me and surprised me was that, that in fact the balance was so perfect. Jim uses the attachment as a separate harp, which he plays with his right hand. And so he'll play entire melodies on it, and its tone is very different than the guitar. It's very high. It's not as full as the guitar, so it sounds like a very high harp. And so he'll be playing entire melodies and some harmonies with his right hand on the harp, either solo, or he'll use his left hand to hammer on, percussively create notes on the guitar, or pluck the guitar with his left hand, adding a bass line and a second voice. And then he'll switch back and play entire parts of the piece on the 11 string, which at that point sounds like a very full guitar, and then go back to the harp, which again sounds like the high harp. So there's a tremendous um, variation in timbre there. Technically, it's real satisfying because I can change colors so dramatically by going to the harp, and, and even within just the guitar part itself can uh, alter my tone quite a bit and, and get a lot of different colors with it. Alan has installed uh, some harp levers on it, which will, with a quick flick of the wrist, will change the strings a half step one way or another. And of course, it has the tuning pegs as well. 
I've decided to call it the arch harp guitar because it's got exactly the right mixture of guitar, lute, and harp in it, which are three instruments I've always been in love with. And it's uh, very much a combination of those three instruments. It almost defies the categories. He trusted me to take his idea and run with it. There was the commitment on my part to build something that was of just impeccable quality workmanship and would do what he wanted it to do as well as possible. There's that mutual faith, he has it in my building, I have it in his vision and musicianship. And it's been working every time and it's wonderful. The workmanship is uh is extremely detailed and uh, it's, a, it's a work of, of love and perfection. There's a certain quality that's a little hard to define which is perhaps the most important. It's kind of a allure in the sense that a quality that would draw the listener and the musician in, uh, where the musician finds in an instrument a voice that can express his widest range of musical ideas and feelings, and the instrument inspires the guitarist to create and inspires the listener. Stay tuned, because even I don't know what's going to happen with it at this point. It could take off in, uh, in directions that surprise everyone, including me. This angle doesn't make my butt look big, but it doesn't make me look too intelligent. Oh God, I think I'm going to be sick. Love and perfection, please. All right, cut, cut. I quacked myself up. <laughs>